Okay, so yesterday, which from your perspective would be now, from your perspective would be yesterday, from my perspective at the time of publishing the video would be 10 days ago because I'm 10 days scheduled ahead. So anyway, it's really, really irrelevant, stupid detail. I deleted my old fitness channel. So the channel had 632 videos and it had 100,000 subscribers. And uh, a good chunk of you guys actually came over from the fitness channel. And I know some of you guys are going to be a little maybe heartbroken or upset or why it has some good stuff in it, etc, etc, etc. But from my perspective uh, is that I am God, I am consciousness, and I am a shapeshifter and I like to experience an infinite number of experiences and play an infinite number of roles and characters and so from my perspective this is Shiva at work let's talk about the three gods in Hinduism the three aspects the three godheads which are really just one god but the three different aspects you have the creator god Brahman uh, or Brahma Brahma uh, Brahman is sort of the Vedantic name for consciousness. So Brahma is the creator God. Vishnu is the preserver. And Shiva is the destroyer. And uh, these three aspects represent creation. So let's talk about my fitness channel. Brahma the creator created the channel. Uh, and uh, blossomed it. So the channel blossomed. It got up to you know 100,000 subscribers. Vishnu the preserver preserved it. Maintained it. Uh, and cultivated it for a little while and now Shiva destroyed it and so out of the uh, let's say the ashes of the destruction is uh, born a new phoenix uh, the phoenix is a Greek mythical bird uh, that is an absolutely wonderful analogy for existence so the phoenix burns turns into ashes and from its own ashes rises to become a new phoenix a more evolved phoenix if you will and the cycle goes on forever and ever and ever and ever so this is uh, the analogy of the phoenix is very much the same as the analogy of the three godheads in hinduism brahma the creator vishnu the preserver and shiva the destroyer and it was beyond a reasonable doubt time for me to let go of that character i absolutely enjoyed playing that character that uh, fitness guy really badass and really like a, a motivator uh, uh, really just uh, i really enjoyed it and i was uh, you know i was a superstar in the gym too i was a legend oh yeah like i, I was a legend in the gym and I really enjoyed it, really enjoyed playing it. I, I have so much reverence for it, so much appreciation, so much gratitude. You know, it was an amazing, amazing part of life, an amazing phase of my life. So I didn't delete it because I have any resentment. In fact, just looking back, it sometimes gives me nostalgia, you know, because like, you know, it was a really, really nice period. And I met so many people in the gym. My God, they're still, I still in touch with them. Uh, amazing amazing people just a beautiful phase in life beautiful phase in life uh, so I didn't delete it because of uh, any like oh I want to let go or you know I don't want and I don't want to be associated with that character anymore or you know like I just deleted it because it needs to be deleted because that's Shiva's work you know Shiva just I mean the phoenix needs to collapse and turn into ashes burn and turn into ashes so it could rise up again so uh, it was simply an, uh, an act of Shiva at this point, uh, Shiva the destroyer, you know, it was just an act of the channel needed to be destroyed uh, so that, you know, the new flower, that is this flower at the moment, can blossom and somehow just deleting that and just letting, I mean, it's a complete letting go of that now, you know, that character, that phase of life, that part of life, uh, just letting go of all of that is... Uh, Quite a relief actually quite a relief because these things work subconsciously although i didn't check that channel 
I don't remember the last time I actually went there or read a comment or this or I don't think I have posted for you know over nine months or something uh, but nevertheless it's there in the subconscious and the very fact that I had the urge yesterday to just go and delete it it means it is in my subconscious and somehow it's still uh, in whatever way on a subconscious level it still acts as a hindrance for this for con for my consciousness to fully embody this new character here and uh, fully be in the present moment and again if i hadn't thought about deleting it and i felt better after deleting it i really do uh, then clearly it was in some way shape or form acting as a hindrance for uh, uh, being present in the moment in this character that happens to be speaking in front of you right now so yeah it's uh, it's quite difficult for us to let go of the old of the old storyline of the old roles of the old characters but let go we must if we are to uh, be present in the moment. And we can only move forward if we are present in the moment. Otherwise, our uh, movements in uh, the forward... Uh, uh, otherwise, our movements in uh, a forward trajectory would be largely influenced by whatever happened in the past. So an example of that, a simple example, if you have, uh, if you have, uh, let's say you're a woman and you have been uh, hurt by a man in a relationship in the past, you know, he uh, might have abused you, said some uh, nasty things. Here is our regular guest appearance. Okay, if you guys have been watching the recent videos, you know who the regular guest appearance is. She's about to make the appearance. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> hey. How are you today? You seem a little less energetic today, Lucy. What's the matter? What's the matter, huh? <laughs> so... Yeah, so let's say you're a woman. Let's say you uh, you had a breakup. Let's say the guy was really nasty to you. Said some nasty mean things and abused you verbally. Uh, and that just left a bad taste in your mouth, right? That just really made you feel like men cannot be trusted. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to be a strong, independent woman now. And, uh, you know, screw men anyway. Who needs them? And so you develop a model of reality in which half the population cannot be trusted. And you move forward in a, in a, in a, in a forward trajectory. You move on uh, very much uh, influenced by the past, by an experience that has occurred to you in the past is really dictating uh, your present experience. And therefore, because time is an illusion, right? So it's all one moment. So then the past experience is dictating your present experience and then that is also dictating your future experience which is going to contain more of the same. And then your job becomes then to let go of that old experience, let go of it viscerally on a visceral level from your emotions in your body via several different techniques. Uh, to release the emotions, the emotional baggage, uh, and then go into your higher mind and practice forgiveness and practice compassion. And through doing that, you will continue, you will now uh, come back to the present moment. And in that coming back to the present moment, you will be able to create a more desirable future where that future is perhaps more colored with trust and that trust is going to attract to you a man into your life that is going to be loving, that is going to be caring uh, and all the good stuff we look for in a partner. So to let go is very important on the journey, 
very very important to let go of our old roles old roles old models uh, if I was still attached to that model of being a fitness guy I probably wouldn't be as focused on these videos that I'm making now I wouldn't be as focused on my uh, you know my spiritual evolution I wouldn't be as focused as as I am now on serving people via these videos right I wouldn't be simple as that because I would be so attached to it I'm like but you know I gotta get back my muscles here you know I, people know me as the fitness guy people know me as buff I gotta be doing handstands and human flag and all that stuff because of my attachment when in fact I no longer want to do these things I no longer want to walk on my hands although I still can I no longer want to do human flag although I probably still can I did it the other day just out of the blue uh, surprisingly I could still do these moves but I don't want to do them anymore I don't want to spend energy and time doing them I'm done playing with that toy so but if I was attached to that image and maybe I heard somebody saying Saeed what happened man like you're you're not as buff anymore or this and that if I was attached to that image then I would be like damn I gotta work out it I gotta work out some more I gotta do this I mean I can't, I, can't, I can't be perceived that way you know what happened you know people used to think I'm this badass and this and that and see that attachment would get in the way would be act as a hindrance to this new manifestation in the present moment so then that role must be let go of as far as i'm concerned as far as i'm concerned that role must be let go of right uh and it really is uh hey. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, so Shiva, embrace Shiva, embrace the destroyer, the Adi Yogi, embrace the destroyer. Shiva destroys all that which is no longer useful to the present moment. And we are playing in a game, the game of uh, the evolution of consciousness. And the game goes only forward, it goes only in evolution, meaning whatever the present moment is that is the high the most evolved state in which your consciousness is at the moment okay that's the highest point of evolution every present moment is the highest point of evolution so because the game goes forward only and moves only forward shiva then destroys that which is not useful to the present moment which translates to shiva destroys that which is not useful to the evolution of consciousness from separation to oneness back to its source and so we must look at everything in our life and ask ourselves is this useful to my evolution that's simply the question oh uh, you've been hurt by five different relationships five different people you have every right to be suspicious of the other sex or the whatever you know to be suspicious of being in partnerships in life in, in life partnerships you have every right to be as a woman to be suspicious of men five, I mean five different relationships and you know it wasn't good wasn't pretty right now ask yourself this question is this useful is this useful to my evolution because the the, the ultimate path the, the evolution leads to is you become love unconditional love and for uh, unconditional forgiveness and unconditional compassion so you would actually in your most evolved state have compassion for all these different men and all these different relationships you would actually have nothing but compassion in your highest most evolved state so resenting those men resenting those relationships resenting the other sex ask yourself the question is this useful to the present moment and there is your answer on what is the most optimal uh, course of action okay I asked myself is is it useful for me now to carry that fitness identity to the present moment is this useful to my evolution and the answer came to me clear no it's no longer useful you it's no longer in you to uh, even like I don't even really work out anymore I just do push-ups sometimes and pull-ups that's it you know and barely <laughs> right I just walk I just live in nature I walk a lot and you know just you know it's different and I ask myself is it useful to keep that channel to keep those videos people are gonna look up your name to see these videos and they're gonna run into the fitness is it really useful to them even because a lot of the videos that you know let's be honest here you know they, there was a lot of horseshit information there because I was sort of trained you know the whole you need protein you need to eat this and that so there's a lot of misleading information 
which now I learned, I learned about human health and etc. And we talk about breatharianism here, which is literally the complete opposite of what I was preaching in the fitness channel. So I even asked myself, is this information even useful to people now? And the answer was no, it's no longer useful. It was useful at the time. It was perfect because every moment's perfect. I was at my highest, most evolved state at that moment. The information that I received was the information that I needed to receive in that moment. And the people who watched the videos needed to hear, plain and simple. But now it's no longer useful to me or anybody coming across. We, uh, we, there's new information now. There's new, new, new truths. There's new ways to live life. And I would like to focus on that as much as possible. Uh, and then, yeah, and then so that unusefulness of that character, of that role, and that those videos and that channel to the present moment, just, you know, that's Shiva at work. So Shiva must destroy, and Shiva did destroy. Who else destroyed but Shiva, <laughs> right? Who else told me to go and delete it but Shiva? Which is all different aspects of ourselves, right? So maybe this will inspire some of you guys to just let go of whatever it is that you're clinging on to. Whatever it is that you're hanging on to, whatever model of reality. Oh, all men are terrible. All women are sluts and they just want your money. You know, all these different models that you have, right? Or I am the type of guy that doesn't take shit from anyone. If somebody looks at me the wrong way, I'm going to, you know, do this, this and that, that. You know, that model is stopping you from, the, you know, cultivating compassion which is the most useful thing for your evolution. So perhaps let go of that. You know, perhaps, uh, you know, loosen up a little bit, be gentler. Uh, let go, let go of what is not useful to the present moment, because that is not useful to your evolution. Okay? So yeah, maybe this will inspire some of you guys, right? It's not the easiest thing to just hit the delete button on 600 and something videos that you worked really hard on, that you spent a lot of time, you know, cultivating uh, and having a hundred thousand people who hit the subscribe button, just gone, right? It's not the easiest thing. It wasn't difficult for me to do because I guess I'm at a point now where I understand how the cycle, I mean, that that's just right there. The channel is the perfect pr representation of that cycle the Hindus talked about. Creation, preservation, destru destruction. And everything goes through that cycle. You and I, I am going through that cycle. Saeed was created. Now, Saeed's being preserved through Vishnu and uh, probably will be preserved for a little while. You know, I, we talk about the breatharian immortality and longevity. But at some point, Shiva will have to destroy Saeed also. You know, it may be through, you know, even if I, you know, become a breatharian, I live up to 300 years. I'll probably want to leave my body at some point. And that's Shiva saying, all right, it's time to destroy that character. It is no longer useful to your evolution. Time to go somewhere else in the cosmos. And continue your continue the cycle for eternity. Be, I'll be born in a new manifestation, preserved in it for what, for some time, and then destroyed again. And then on and on it goes, right? On and on it goes. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I would like to thank all our uh, beautiful patrons for your continued support. You guys are awesome. I love you, uh, and all the people who make the one-time donations on PayPal. Love you guys. <sighs> I feel you in my heart. I appreciate you. Uh, if you'd like to support on Patreon, if you'd like to support just one-time donations, anything that comes my way is appreciated. Uh, and uh, one day we'll do this full-time. I'll travel around, see wherever you guys are at, and do retreats and all kinds of things. Uh, these clouds are beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, pie. Oh, my. I love you. And until next time, oh, yeah, Instagram, Saeed Mobile, if you want to reach out, talk about anything. You know, I've been talking to a lot of you guys. I'm glad I started Instagram again. Really glad. I've been talking to a lot of you guys again. It feels good. Uh, and that's about it. Until next time, may the force be with you.